Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing my 38 week pregnancy update. The baby is the size of a leek now and I weigh 190 pounds so I've gained a total of 50 pounds since the beginning of my pregnancy which feels just really good for me. And I feel like I'm getting the right amount of food and the right amount of calories and vitamins and all that and that I'll have plenty of reserves for when he's breastfeeding afterwards so I'm just really happy with the amount of weight I've gained. I've been having a lot of practice labors or false labors or prodromal labor, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure exactly what it is because I haven't had a vaginal exam. But the day before I turned 37 weeks, I was absolutely sure I was in labor. I was having contractions that were 45 seconds long and they were every four minutes. They were so consistent and they were getting more and more intense throughout the day. And then in the evening, I ate some food and I took a bath and I went to bed and they stopped. And it, that just keeps happening where every now and then I get a false labor and I'm like, is this the real thing? No, it wasn't last time, so probably not. The day after that happened, I was so grumpy and not very happy that it wasn't the real thing, even though I am glad because it's better, you know, if you can wait a bit longer and get closer to my due date. I had been doing so well with just being intent to be pregnant still and just having a really good frame of mind about it. And it took me a little while to get back a hold of myself. The whole next day I was really grumpy about it and then by the next by the day after that. I was feeling a bit better and now I'm 38 weeks and I'm feeling pretty good about even if I have to wait until I'm like 43 weeks I'm I'm actually okay with it. I'm trying to just enjoy these last few weeks of being pregnant and feeling a kick whenever I get really intense possibly painful contractions. When I first get it my brain thinks pain and then I can tell my brain no not pain and like reframe it as just pressure and then it doesn't hurt. I know it'll be a lot harder to do that when I'm in the real deal and transition is a lot different than practice contractions but I feel like it's gonna be good for me to practice doing this and hopefully it'll make the labor easier. So and then I'm also hoping that this is actually making progress and that my labor will just be a lot faster because of it, but I guess we'll see. I kind of feel like I've been in labor for weeks now because I have a contraction every little while, all day and all night. I haven't really gone a day without having several contractions for weeks now, so who knows what's going on. My midwife offered to do a vaginal exam last time I was at my appointment, which was actually yesterday, but I declined because I really just don't want to know. Like. It's not like it really matters if I'm dilated because I could be like a five and still go several more weeks or I could be hardly dilated at all, not, not even maybe to a one or a two and I could go into labor like today and have him by tonight. Like you, you just, it doesn't really mean anything. So I want to just trust my body and know that he's going to come when he's ready and my body's going to do exactly what it needs to do to prepare and I don't want to get too caught up in the numbers of things. So I decided not to have a vaginal exam and I probably won't until I'm in labor and maybe not even then, I don't know. But hopefully with all these intense contractions and false labors, I'll know when I'm actually in labor and be able to call the midwife in time. I'm sure I'll know the difference, but sometimes I wonder. <laughs> Who knows, we may end up having an unassisted home birth, which I'm actually pretty okay with. And the more I do research and the closer I get, the more it's been just coming up in my mind and in my dreams about how the labor is going to go is just having me and Luke there and how cool that would be. So I guess we'll see how it goes and we might have an unassisted birth, but right now the plan is still to call the midwife and have her come, but hopefully I actually know when I'm in labor. My pubic bone has been hurting so much worse lately. It has gotten really bad. That's probably the hardest part of still being pregnant. It's not really the contractions, it's my pubic bone. When I had that one false labor, my pubic bone started hurting worse, like more of a sharper pain, and it hasn't gone away. It still hurts so bad. And mainly when I move my left leg, if I have to roll over in bed at night, it's excruciating. It's terrible to walk up the stairs. It's, it hurts to even walk across the floor, like just anything. It's really bad when I have to bend over and lift my leg up to like put my jeans on or something like that. It's just, that's probably the most annoying part. <laughs> and I actually think what changed was that maybe that labor caused him to move down a little bit more and he's putting pressure on the inside of my pubic bone instead of the top. And that's just pushing it in a different direction is kind of my thoughts on it. And like I told the chiropractor that and she seemed to think that could totally be what's causing it. I'm just trying to take it easy and not anger it anymore and the chiropractor gave me stretches to do to hopefully keep 
it in alignment a little bit better, but it's just gonna be something I have to deal with until the end of the pregnancy. I have been binge listening to all my favorite birth podcasts. I'll link all my favorite ones down in the description because if you're pregnant, I so highly recommend listening to birth podcasts, listening to positive birth stories and just information about birth and things to do if complications arise, especially if you're planning a home birth. And it just makes you feel so much more prepared and excited to get going. So I've been listening to podcasts like nonstop and watching birth videos and like all kinds of stuff. And it's helped so much. Like I feel so much more confident in just my body's ability to do things on its own. I feel really confident in if the midwife wasn't there that I would know what to do because I've done so much research lately. Just again, tons of positive birth stories and different complications that it might arise and how to handle them. Not that I'm expecting any, but I really wanna just be prepared and responsible with this labor and birth. I feel like the best way to do that is just, just dive into the research and just do as much as you possibly can. And it definitely has been helping. So let's show you guys the bump. I'm definitely starting to get some new stretch marks around my belly button and kind of underneath my belly. He's getting really big. So that is all for my 38 week pregnancy update. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll be able to build my 40 week update for you guys soon. And make sure you're subscribed so that you see when he's born and get to hear the birth story and all of that fun stuff. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.